Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. Yay, it's Wednesday hump day. Oh my goodness, so much news coming in. Now, I want to thank everybody so much for sending information. And yes, the private contact email through our website is fixed. And so you can send us a private message. Um, there's so much news coming in from so many different people you know I can't go through the list for each individual but thank you you guys know who you are um, now several have sent me the link to the latest in the Quebec class action suit in Canada and the judge has okayed that to go forward so Watchtower is going to be sued and uh, I'm going to put the link down below. There are several, uh, like Montreal and Canada news media, covering this. This is great news for the victims, uh, aka survivors, and I hope they win. I really hope they win. They deserve some justice. And, you know, the thing is, is we all know Watchtower is paying out millions of dollars and I believe, you know, in my personal opinion, this is why they're selling off all the property. Now, along those lines, I just happened to have went to the Charities Commission in Canada again and I'm going to put the link down below to all of this because you know I go through these lists periodically to see what new ones are on here and this is the new revoked list um, that I just got and oh my goodness there's at the very least 20 25 um, new ones on here now all of them were revoked on February 16th 2019 one was just done on March 2nd. Um, there's even a circuit on here. Now I know, you know, I've gotten some emails and they said, oh, well, you know, I don't think this is right because the congregation so-and-so, you know, one of my family members goes to is still up and running. Well, we think we might have some pieces starting to go together of what is going on. And I just want to share, you know, this is my personal feelings, and this is rumors. Uh, we're still trying to investigate. An insider has told us that Montreal, that the congregations, um, the titles of these congregations, the ownership, whatever you want to call it, is being transferred to a holding company called Holdco. In Canada and I didn't know much about it so I started reading up on it very interesting the elders are no longer going to be um, here in this country they're called like trustees you know because Mike's dad as an elder was a trustee for our congregation in Cottonwood um, trustees you know whatever you want to call them all these elders are now being known as administrators now I think this is very significant because once you start investigating what a holding company does, the very top thing is asset protection. Again, I'm going to read what this says. Whether you're in a high risk industry, high risk. Now think about that for a minute. Why would Watchtower be a high risk industry or corporation mm, maybe all their child abuse cases especially those coming up in Canada this class action suit against them just something to think about or just looking for some additional protection inserting a hold coat into your business structure can help add an extra layer of protection over your business if you transfer non-essential or redundant assets out of your opco to your hold co, i.e. cash, if something were ever to happen to your business, opco, these assets would be protected from creditors since they are now sitting in the hold co. Do you guys understand what that means? Watchtower is moving and 
setting up these hold co corporations to protect their assets. We know they did this in Russia right before they were banned. There was several elders letters that came out and said, you know, find a reliable, trustworthy elder to transfer the property ownership to the elder in Russia. Because, see, that was another big thing with the Russian ban, is outside international companies or cults cannot own property in Russia. It can be confiscated. So guess what? You transfer this property to a Russian citizen and it's more difficult. But we know that didn't work because Russia government came in and confiscated, you know, their branch offices in several kingdom halls. And over that particular thing, I don't feel sorry for the witnesses at all because you were trying to hide and, you know, do all this shifting around. And in my personal opinion, this is what they're doing in Canada now. They know this huge lawsuit is coming up. The judge just gave the okay. And guess what? Now they're going to try to shuffle and protect their assets. And then, oh, we're broke. We can't pay this. You know, just like in Australia, the Australian Royal Commission. Oh, you know, well, we can't join the redress right now. And as far as that list goes, there's no, they haven't let anybody know of any plans in the future of joining it. So, I think they're crooks. I think they're devious thieves. And just downright evil because they do not want to pay these victims. And it's their responsibility. This is their fault. Also, I'm going to put the link down below here. You can read this. Also, if you're looking for some, um, you know, investment, um, a capital gains exemption, you know, something like that, um, you know, that's why someone would choose to go to a hold co corporation. But I think this is significant. And it's just another piece in that puzzle of Watchtower is scared because they know what is coming they know just like in this country as soon as president trump got into office he signed an executive order that any corporation that hides child abuse or abuses people their assets can be seized and i wouldn't be a bit surprised if they have done the same thing in this country so like I said, we're going to be investigating this. I'm going to be working on this for a while. But like I said, go to the link below and check out the Canada charities that have been revoked under the Jehovah's Witness congregations. It's interesting. And like I said, all the pieces are starting to come together and, you know, we're starting to see a picture of how much trouble Watchtower really is in. So you all have a great day. Take care.